Carbon legislation due shortly in Australia. Attention in the IT sector is shifting towards sustainable practices. Fujitsu has just released the results of its second global benchmarks report. It analyzes the trending maturity of IT sustainability in organizations across the globe. And joining me now to discuss the research is Lee Stewart, uh, the principal lead for sustainability at Fujitsu. And great to have you on board, Lee. Thanks. Thanks. Pleasure um, to be here. We can start off firstly by getting across um, the nature of the report and what you actually found. Yeah. Are you actually sensing companies losing their green focus? Yeah, look, unfortunately um, we are seeing that and this is the second year we've run this report and we expanded it to seven countries and we actually interviewed a thousand CIOs and we asked them 80 questions across key areas across their business looking at end user computing, the enterprise and data centres, the uh, uh, product life cycle of their products they're using and also IT as the enabler across other parts of the business and overarching all that we looked at the metrics and how they measure it and we could give them a score ranging from 0 to 100 with 80 being best practice. Mm -hmm. Now this year unfortunately we've gone down by 2.7 percent from last year's report with a global average of 54.3 so what we're seeing is a slight sort of a fatigue or of going backwards and we're probably seeing as sort of a wake-up call for the IT industry to sort of start paying more attention to sustainability. Yeah, what do you think that's about, that, that fall that you detected? Yeah look unfortunately I suppose the IT CIO senior managers have got so many competing priorities and it doesn't sustainably doesn't rank in the top five of their priorities at the moment so and it probably needs more visibility and more considerate effort. Yeah. I know in your survey you found a lot of uh, companies are not actually understanding how much energy their IT consumes which is quite interesting. Why is that so hard to get a grip of? It's, it's hard to really say and I suppose the IT departments have never really thought about what their whole systems use in terms of energy use and it's really important to note that less than half under to even cite their energy bill but only 14 percent globally actually budget for their IT energy spend wow. and unfortunately in Australia that's less than one percent of CIOs actually have a budget for their IT spend. Now what we're seeing is those companies that do actually budget for their IT energy rank significantly higher and actually 20 percent higher on that global index. So it's one key factor that uh, CIOs should pay attention to. Are you finding there's differences, very big differences between small and, and large businesses? Is it something that um, challenges them in different ways? Yeah look, um, typically as we've seen in a survey size does matter. The larger enterprises have been doing more significantly well than the smaller, mainly because they've got exposure to other factors such as legislation and, and probably got some resources to do things like this. But in Australia and New Zealand we actually saw some smaller companies do better than government so oh. showing that they can actually enforce change quicker and probably more nimble. Oh, perhaps the government can lead by example a little bit more you'd suggest. Yes absolutely. Yeah. Where, are you seeing, where are you seeing best practice? Is it in a particular industry? You mentioned some of the small guys performing yeah. maybe punching above their weight but is there a general rule where you see the Look overall best globally practice? best practice was by the IT industry and in Australia we're actually above the average of 58.4. Um, but in Canada actually manufacturing topped the list which is quite surprising. Right. Manufacturing was around 65%. So what do you actually say businesses can do to improve their IT sustainability? Is there kind of some quick fi fixes in the meantime yeah. and of course there's got to be a longer plan I imagine as well. Yeah absolutely. Um, yes definitely the quick fix is really just to understand your energy bill. It's quite <laughs> a simple thing but those that do perform significantly better. Moving more long term you can use IT as enabling other parts of the business to understand your energy bill in real time and look at enabling other areas to improve efficiencies but also with that understanding of the energy bill and energy spend you can develop business cases. Now some of these business cases have a return on investment within weeks or months to actually improve efficiency and what we're seeing is that this survey is actually a good really a good highlighting area of where you can actually improve and get those quick wins but also we want to see this as an ongoing change management process not just a project which is a tick the box compliance. Lee Stewart, great to have you on board. Thank you so much for joining us for Tech Report. Great, Thanks. Thank you. Principal Lead for Sustainability, Fujitsu. That's where we leave off the Tech Report for now. I'm Brooke Cordy. Thanks.